making a quick little video of uh, my quest to have a methanol kit um, cheaper and better than um, the AEM full kit. Uh, I went on eBay, got the nozzle kit, came with three fittings, it says right there, uh, 250, 500, and 1,000 jet, which here's the jets. And uh, came with some push locks, some extra nylons. Here's the jet itself. It's got a, a valve inside. It's AEM with a quick connect. And a, a check valve inside so it can't leak down. Then I went on eBay and pretty much found the cheapest regulator. High pressure regulator. Um, it came with a fluid filled gauge. Which is stainless got oil or whatever you see the bubble in there well I had bought this B&M um, gauge off of Facebook marketplace and the picture it looked like see how it's got a shadow had a little shadow on the picture off to the corner it made me thought it was liquid filled well in the end uh, if you didn't know what you were looking at hey it's B&M regulator fine standing there somebody's looking at it they're like well B&M regulator they won't know be using um, a Crown Victoria 2000 Crown Vic Grand Marquis fuel filter for my filter and a couple of 90 degree could use straight or 90s but I had these at the shop and the only trick for this style fitting because normally it's supposed to have a, uh, a clip uh, or a stainless line with the push locks well this is a different style and um, there was little tabs on each end of these. I had to grind those down because once you, once you push lock it in, it's hard to release it. So that'll be my methanol filter. And the regulator came with a bunch of these AN fittings. A bunch. They're the uh, screw-in style. Um, you know, you slam it into the fitting and came with 90s and um, all kinds of stuff we won't get to that yet just we won't get to that just yet um, but my plan is I have an inline fuel pump which is a $20 fuel pump uh, high pressure fuel pump um, inline um, in essence I'm trying to uh, put together a better kit then AEM, um, I'm not going to use their style pump. I'm going to use the actual, you know, fuel system, like a separate fuel system complete. It's going to have, uh, I'm running 15 to 20 pounds of, of boost. So I'm, I'm going to set this at about 40. And I'm not going to use the vacuum right now. That's just a little advance that I'm going to need to do. I'd rather do it by button than by um, amount of boost um, which you could do it's just a lot more work um, again uh, um, you know this should work great um, I, I might get a hob switch um, I might not I might just keep it on the button but um, Real quick, um, I needed the kit. The regulator came with uh, this this braided line, which is actually really nice. Okay, steel braided. If you can see that, get to focus. But anyways, it's steel braided, plus nylon coated. Uh, three little pieces of line, which is which is awesome, and it came with a bunch of fittings and uh nothing to hook a hose up to the an it was it was getting to be a little aggravating i didn't want to keep ordering pieces so it came with one of these which i just set down but this end was longer the threaded end it had one threaded end that was longer if i could set them down next to each other you could see it was longer and i was like man that would work great if I could throw it on the lathe and turn it down for the hose 
because I'm going to need this in my system. I'm probably going to need another one, so we'll probably be turning down another one, even though this is going to be shorter. It's going to be on the feed side. So once that's all in, I got uh, the, this is the bulkhead fitting, a couple of those off of eBay. Um, now when it came down to the tank, I was having trouble um, finding the right size tank and how I wanted it and uh, the price and shipping and waiting. Um, I'm kind of trying to rush to get this together. There's a drift event. Um, at a track flat rock track it's about an hour and a half two hours away from here and uh, August 17th I'm trying to hit that and um, I would definitely love to run methanol while I'm doing the drift see we're here in Michigan and snow 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 drift is is every year so but um, anyways back to my fuel cell I went to Walmart, I went to Target, I went to different places. Um, still there's more I could do. I, I'm sure I can find a, a better container. But at the moment I uh, scratched over my head, what am I gonna do about the lid? I want, I need a hole big enough to stick my hand in so I can put bulkhead fittings in. Um, I looked at boat tanks, I've looked at kitty litter jugs, figured the kitty litter would have a big cap I could stick my hand in. Nothing. Um, gave me the option with a pre-cut hole for uh, the size I was looking for so I went ahead and saw this up on the shelf and I thought about it and thought about it. I'm looking for plastic smooth with flat surfaces which had flat top flat bottom you know bottom actually the bottom's not flat it has like a um, a cutout for so you can stack it so you can stack these containers on top of each other um, I haven't tried it yet, but I wonder if this cap would fit up into that cavity down there and you could stack two on top of each other still, but, um, it has a handle, um, that way I could take this tank out if I was at the track or whatever, they didn't like it, I can zip these out, dump the tank out or cap it, which I'm probably going to come up with like a quick connect, um, situation that way I could remove it, fill it, put it back in. But for now, it's just going to be strapped into that back seat. But um, this was 24 bucks, and it was simple, man. When I used a three-inch hole saw just to get me started because I was waiting on this to come in, and I wanted to get these bulkhead fittings in so I can get some epoxy on here. So I, I layered. I took blue uh, painter's tape and went around here just so I wouldn't get it everywhere. And then I layered two layers of clear plastic epoxy um, and let it just sit out in the sun, sit out in the sun, put another layer on, let it sit out in the sun for fucking for half the day. Um, so that just give it a little extra rigidity in that area. I was worried about like when I'm hooking these lines up or wiggle them out. They're much dirtier now. Before you can just really, really, really wiggle them. I didn't like that. But so far, no leaks, and I just got these plugged off. But not a drip, not a drip, and that's why I got water in there, because I want to test for leaks, because I have no leaks up here either. And I can demonstrate that. Check that out. No, not a drip, man. But here's my next problem, is I realized I had no vent on it, which they do sell caps with the vent but again I was trying to go for the cheapest for the bang for the buck and this was the cheapest one um, and bang for the buck and shipping so I'm trying to trying to get it in trying to get it done as fast as possible so now I come in dilemmas I'm probably gonna drill a hole take a quarter 20 bolt tap it off for quarter 20 and drill a hole in the nut if that makes sense just so it's optional to be pulled out and plugged off. Um, I could just drill a hole and just leave it at that. A uh, real, real, real small hole. But, uh, which I might do. I haven't figured it out. And also I was thinking maybe if I run up to my um, lawn and garden center, my hardware store, local hardware store, I might be able to find a lawnmower cap um, this size. 
that are you know lawnmower gas tank cap that already has a vent and it was plastic whatever but I'm pretty sure if you look at those threads they're not metric or nothing crazy so it's going to be awesome and uh I don't know I probably got it was six dollars for the tank 24 or 22 for the for the fuel cell filler neck it was hard to find this on eBay you have to word things just right and also the bulkhead fittings I didn't even know what to call them I was calling them through fittings I didn't know really a specific name but I figured that out and got those ordered those were ten dollars a piece cheap so I got ten twenty dollars six so in 24 so let's make that 30 40 50 bucks in this right here which I I, I know there's fuel cells on eBay um, but nothing poly everything poly everything plastic I don't want aluminum I don't want an aluminum I want clear as well I want to be able to see how much fluid I got in it without having to have a fuel level I can just turn around and see how much I got left in the tank um, but for the price 50 bucks just in the, into to, to my cell here's 50 bucks into this now if I was to get um, waited a little longer I could have got these for cheaper I could have got this cheaper with the vent but rush rush here it is uh, got it done so you know hopefully uh, I'll have another video to post uh, but I don't like AEM's pump it looks like a billage pump I know it's this that and other I just don't like it um, I'd rather um, when the inline fuel pump fails I could locally source an inline fuel pump from my local parts store if I really had to but when it came down to the AEM I'm gonna order it, I don't have to wait, blah, 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 deal with, you know, this, that, and other warranties. Eh, I don't wanna deal with all that. Another thing is um, I ordered a check valve, which I don't have it here. I got so frustrated with it, I left it at work. Um, big mistake, uh, make sure the solenoid, electric solenoid that you're looking for, for this system is gonna be a high flow. I did not pay attention. I bought the cheapest one, well not the cheapest, but it was $16 US solid uh, quarter inch brass um, solenoid and it's not high flow. Uh, when I looked at it, it had a tiny, maybe 3 16 uh, hole in the bottom of the quarter inch tapped hole, which is not going to work for fluid flow, but would work for a vacuum or a boost controller on and off. But it's not going to work for what I'm doing. So I am probably not going to run a solenoid right now. Um, I may. I'm still looking online right now for a high flow solenoid. Um, but they. But I called AEM in California. They got a phone number in there um, in the instructions. Which get this is awesome. It tells you like where to put the port. I mean the jet and um, whoa, I'm dropping everything. Where to put the port? How far? Like here's the inside the jet. There's a little spring and brass deal with a mesh screen on the inside of here. It's already got it screwed together. Which I picked the center jet, the middle jet. Um, but yeah, it shows you here where you want to put the jet. Six to eight inches. Uh, six to eight inches of the throttle body ahead of the throttle body provides an excellent co uh, combination of air charge cooling and combustion control definitely if they have lots of other parts again too much too much too much too much i'm trying to be cheap that's it.